Portugal's center-right democratic alliance claimed victory in Sunday's general election. It's a shift away from some eight years of center-left government and comes as anxiety grows over a rising far-right movement. But the alliance, known as AD, only has a combined right-wing majority in parliament if it works with far-right party Chega. And AD leader Luis Montenegro repeated on Sunday that he won't. Although it was unclear how he would form a government without this coalition, Montenegro, in his victory speech, urged all elected lawmakers to help the country make a smooth transition. To have stability and governability, we have to appeal to the sense of responsibility of everyone who will take a seat in Parliament to represent the Portuguese people. It requires everyone to provide the conditions of stability and governability for the country. In Sunday's snap election, people were voting in 230 lawmakers to the National Assembly, who will then form a new government with a prime minister as its head, appointed based on ballot results. And the outcome reflected a surge in Chega's popularity. The anti-establishment party more than quadrupled their parliamentary seats to at least 48. Chega leader André Ventura told reporters Sunday's ballot clearly showed that the Portuguese want a government of the AD with Chega. He earlier said Montenegro would be responsible for any political instability if he continues to refuse to negotiate. Meanwhile, Montenegro's main rival, Pedro Nuno Santos, conceded defeat after his left-leaning socialist PS party came in second by a razor-thin margin. The Socialist Party is going to lead the opposition, he said, adding that he would not put the opposition leadership in the hands of Chega. They've trailed the AD in most opinion polls since Socialist Prime Minister Antonio Costa resigned in November amid a corruption scandal surrounding his underlings. Under Costa's leadership, Portugal grew at solid annual rates above 2 percent, posted budget surpluses recently and slashed public debt. Investors don't expect the AD to veer away from the path of fiscal restraint, but the new government will likely face some social headwinds between a housing crisis and discontent over low wages.